Kelly Style, your State Farm Insurance agent in Oskaloosa, is excited to be serving the Mahaska County community and the surrounding area. See Kelly at 309 High Avenue E, Oskaloosa, or call 641-673-0088. And a good morning. Welcome into Brothers Market. We are in downtown Sigourney, Iowa at 118 South Main Street in Sigourney. You can call Brothers at 641-622-2191. Brothers Market, uh, where we always have the sports section coaches show here on Saturday mornings here on Steve Shetler Media. Let's uh, check in with Jenny Hobbs, who is standing by. Jenny, how are you doing this morning? Oh, good. A little tired. It's been a long week, but I'm here ready to go. Awesome. And what, what is the week that was? Oh, Tell well, us about it. The week that was, let's just say it went um, cold, wet, snowy. So there wasn't very many events. There were a lot, a lot of events that canceled. But I will say that the junior high track teams kicked it off last night at North Mahaska. And I'm going to give a shout out. I wasn't there because I had state science fair. But Sean Hayfley and Levi Lyle stepped in for me. And the Kyoto girls finished second only to Pella Christian. Uh, so that was a huge bonus uh, for our team. And I will give a shout out to my state science fair kids, Gavin Searn and Reese Conrad. They finished second in their division um, at state science fair. And also they won their division in the agri-science FFA science fair. So they get a move on. Uh, they get a plaque at state convention, and they submit their research to see if they get to go to nationals, which last year they finished seventh at in the nation in their category um, with monarch butterfly research which is dear to my heart um, and also our kids were gone to model un this week so shout out to all those kids that went to cedar falls for model un so a little more uh, activity in the classroom than on the track or the field this week all right, so that was the week that was. Now, uh, we're going to be talking SK soccer, and then I'll let some of our two of our uh, guests get in line here as we uh, take a look at this from Brothers Market. As you can see, savings made simple. You can go to shopbrothersmarket.com, and also, as we always encourage you, download the Brothers Market app for digital coupons. You can earn rewards, see the deal of the week, and other shopping deals. So get the app. It's a smart way to shop with Brothers Market, the Brothers Market app. All right, let's go back to Jenny Hobbs. Now, we saw these two guys here on the sports section not too terribly long ago. Jenny, who you got today? Well, we have head coach Alex Holt and assistant coach, which I think you guys work well together, right? Yes. Uh, Tim Schneider. So tell us a little bit, and maybe the viewers, if they were watching, remember, but give us a little background. Alex, like, did you grow up playing soccer? Just give us your whole background on soccer. So my, my uh, soccer career ended in uh, seventh grade when we uh, – so I, I went, ended up going to a 6A high school in Kansas. It was basically one sport, and that was it, and um, that sport was, was football. So, okay. so what, what school did you go to in Kansas? Uh, Blue Valley West. What town is that in? Uh, it's in Stillwell, Kansas. Okay. So have not just, been just there. outside of Kansas City, okay. like 20 minutes or so. Oh, nice. All right, Tim, what about your soccer background? Uh, unlike Alex, I actually played a lot. Um, I started <laughs> playing, I think, when I was in probably second, third grade. Um, you, can't look, you can't tell from looking at me, but I actually wanted to be a basketball guy, <laughs> which uh, clearly didn't work out. Um, I started refing soccer when I was 12 with my dad and brother. Uh, I was able to buy my own first car. And then I played college over at William Penn, and I ended up here. So where did you go to high school at? Uh, I went to St. Thomas Aquinas in Fort Madison. Very good. And we were a small Catholic school, so we didn't have football. So soccer was kind of our equivalent of <laughs> football in other places. Yeah. Uh, so tell us about your coaching background then, Alex. Oh, so I've been, well, I guess gosh, it goes back a little ways. Um, I was on with... Uh, I think it was like Jared's second year at um, with the football program. I did uh, some volunteer coaching for a season. Um, then I helped Mitch and Al out um, God, no, about 
nine, <laughs> ten years ago, I think my oldest son would have been about one years old. So it would have been about that time frame. Um, then I uh, went to Central Iowa, got a teaching job out there, and then uh, assistant coaching for football, um, coaching running backs, defensive backs. And then uh, also was the uh, speech director, which is kind of a strange well, uh, combination. And, and I've kind of followed your uh, career on Facebook. Okay. Because uh, his wife was a former student of mine and all her siblings. Uh, and I've friended you on Facebook. So I've, I've known you, you know, was teaching and coaching at South Tama, and, right? It was South, South Harden. South, South Harden, yeah. my bad. Uh, one of those Southern schools. It's, it's well, not too South. far away, yeah, from yeah. there. Um, so I'm glad that the opportunity came up that you got to move back to Sigourney. So yeah. that's awesome. Be yep. close to family. And um, what about you there, Tim? Um, uh, right after I graduated high school, I helped out my high school team. I was the assistant coach for a little while there. And then, like I said, I went on to college, played, didn't do a whole lot of coaching until I moved to Sigourney. And uh, my friend uh, Bronson Black actually <laughs> hooked me up with uh, Christy Osbaker's number probably five six years ago and i've been doing it ever since then around here so good. it's been pretty sweet uh, good. so what's what would you alex what would you say your coaching style is for example and the girls can <laughs> back me up on this one but um i would say that i'm tough but also i can be fun maybe a little <laughs> but <laughs> But I, ex I expect things, yeah. and if I don't get those certain things, you know, during practice, then it might be a little rough. Yeah. I'd say I, I have a similar style. Um, you know, as, lo as, as long as we're getting what we need to get done, we have, I, I like to think Tim and I, you know, make it kind of fun, like mm -hmm. practice and stuff. Um, him and I have a good rapport, so the way I've been coaching soccer, and it's my first head coaching at the varsity level I, I coach some junior high and like you know <laughs> elementary my my kids is sports but as far as like head coaching at the varsity level uh, it's been nice having this guy because it does allow me to be more laid back when mm -hmm. it comes to coaching because I know he knows his stuff as far as uh, technique and, and things like that and and then um, a lot of it's just the rapport between him and I and I think we got we do pretty good making it fun. Yeah, I think I yeah, I think we're doing well. Um I like to think of myself as kind of like Bobby Knight. Oh no. But we don't have anywhere near as many chairs and things. No. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I th I think Alex and I are pretty similar coaching style. Uh we're both I'm pretty sure a good time. Uh <laughs> But I think there yeah, there are times, you know, where Especially this week, you know, we didn't have our game, so we played indoor. We left it kind of light, had kind of mm -hmm. fun. We actually got quite a bit out of it, I think. But, mm -hmm. yeah, of course, there are other times where um, they can probably attest to that uh, if a certain drill isn't going properly and we're getting a little goofy, there is running involved. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, good. I, I, there you go. Okay, so I do have a couple. Well, just talk about your um, team in general right now. And I know you've had two matches. It's your one and one on the season. Uh, and again, it is tough spring sports where you kind of lose momentum by not having a game all week and you have to mix up practices. But how, the, how do you think the season's going so far? Well, so far, it's, I mean, going pretty good. Um, we opened up with PCM, we lost three nothing, but we played really good defense. Mm -hmm. They had, I want to say 21 shots. 18 on goal or 21 shots on mm -hmm. goal and we saved 18 of them we mm -hmm. were getting back on defense we had a lot of a lot of good things that we saw that game it was just moving the ball offensively we struggled mm -hmm. um and then the next game against Wapolo, we had a lot of shots we were able to get our offense going some things were clicking we probably could have put up a few more goals mm -hmm. and finished things off a little mm -hmm. sooner we kind of made it a little more uh a little more interesting at the end than it <laughs> needed to be, but um, you know that, that happens sometimes. And we're as a young team, we're kind of developing that that killer instinct still. You know, because you you're very sophomore heavy. Yeah, nine sophomores. Yeah, they're they're the, the majority of the team. There is is our sophomore class. And I do want to point out that this is co-ed. And do you play just other co-ed, 
soccer teams or do you have to play? Uh, and I thought you played like other teams are just all boys. It's right? mostly boys. I mean, we're technically, yeah, we're technically co-ed, but we compete in the boys. Okay, that's what I. Division or, okay. you know, side of things. Um, there is girls soccer. We yeah. just don't have enough mm. girls playing yet to yeah. have. Oh, no, that's, have a team. that's, that's awesome. That's the goal someday, hopefully. Yeah. Um, and what conference are you guys in since the sickle does not have a conference? Because that's, again, I was trying to trying to look for you. And uh, do you have, what conference are you in? Well, I couldn't find it. This Sorry. This is where it gets a little, uh, a little tricky. <laughs> um, so we are in, in the sickle. Well, okay. But, but we are the only team in there. Okay, so. yes. It was uh, not listed as a conference <laughs> school. I clicked on Southeast. Like, oh, hey, we're in Southeast yeah. Iowa. And that was Keokuk and Washington yeah. and the old Southeast 7 conference back in the day. Um, but, yeah. I, we're we're <laughs> almost impossible to find on Huddle. Just well, I was searching. looking on Bound. Or I got, on, yeah, on Bound. I yeah, I was like, oh, couldn't um, find you. Yeah, no, we've been joking all year that no matter what happens, we got what? District champs. Or, or conference champs. <laughs> conference conference so, champs, excuse if, me. If nothing else, you know, like. I've been saying, hey, man, at least you're going to win uh, assistant coach of the year in the conference. And, you know, like, so we've kind of made a joke out of that. The way conf the the way soccer is kind of laid out yet, there's still we're, we're basically kind of like think of it as like Notre Dame as an independent, mm -hmm. you know, conference. play who you can. Yeah, play who we can. We don't technically have have a conference game, so to speak of um, the hopes are and two, three, five years, that changes if other schools start getting programs going. But, um, you know, that's we, – we we'll play who we can get right now, and and uh, hopefully we're going to get these games from last week rescheduled. Good, that's good. The big thing right and now. And that's, that's tough on. in the spring to reschedule any yes, any sport yes. um, event. Um, now my big question is, being a basketball coach, because I like to think of soccer as – very related to basketball mm -hmm. you know you spread out you you know fast break get ahead pass you know the angles and all that sort of thing do you because i i coach my son's soccer team i have since they were little um and so you know i and we had to have indoor practice this week too so you know i was like spread out you know i was like uh you know pass ahead you know go to the goal i mean i mean yeah, go to the goal, but not that goal. You know, like the goal with the net. Yeah. Um, so, are, do you have plays? I mean, is uh, there a we certain don't, we like, don't particularly have plays, except for maybe on maybe on throw-ins and corner kicks? We yeah. have kind of a general idea of what we want to do out on the Sets field. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Out on the field during play, we have kind of a general idea, like in basketball. You know, spread the field wide, move the yeah. defense shift back to the open space that's kind of the general idea but they you got to kind of take what the defense gives you as well yeah. it's kind of like uh what we try to do is kind of like the motion offense in basketball okay. where it's predicated on spacing and, and ball movement and okay. getting it where it needs to go quickly okay. all right but that answers lots of questions because i'm a very play set oriented type person i just i don't know <laughs> But yes, it is. It's tough to to teach kids how to react if this situation happens, and you do this, and and that take that does take a long time. Yeah. Um. So then, since I think soccer is kind of like basketball, what would you compare soccer to? I think I think basketball is probably pretty good. Um, I think hockey as well is mm -hmm. pretty close as well. But my sports knowledge doesn't stretch <laughs> too far from uh, <laughs> soccer, and you know. 99, 98 <laughs> PlayStation sports games. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that's one person I am going to have on here uh, in the coming weeks, months, is both, I know Kyoto and Sigourney has both started an eSports mm -hmm. yeah. uh, team. So I'm going to have the coach of uh, eSports. Mr. Kelly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Come on and just talk a little bit about eSports, which that's, you know, that's awesome. We get more kids involved, you know, in, in anything. You know, that makes me happy. Um, I was going to, I had a thought and I lost it. So is there anything else that you guys want to add? Well, I, I had a good idea and I, 
I was going to ask you oh, guys, yeah. um, how long has the soccer program been in existence for Sigourney? Um, so the first season, and correct me if I'm wrong, it was 2020, 20, yeah, 2020, and it was a JV season only. There was okay. not enough kids, I don't think, for a varsity season. I'm not sure exactly that transition, exactly how that went down. Then the next year they had a varsity team. Um, and then last year was the second year. So okay. this would be year number three. Okay. Year number three for uh, SK Soccer. And where are your home games played at? I guess I don't even know where your home field is. Jeez. It's, it's uh, the football field, Cobra okay. Field. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what are the what's different about the dimensions of a soccer field? He's got. Okay. I was Tim's got this one. A <laughs> uh, uh, full size soccer field is actually humongous. Well, I was gonna say so. I didn't think it fit on. Right, it won't. So if your if your school has a football field with a track around it, you're playing probably kind of the minimum requirement dimensions. But a, a full size soccer field is 120 yards long and 70 yards wide, so you can fit a volleyball court, a basketball court, and a hockey rink, basically <laughs> in one corner. So there's it's big. There's a lot of space. Yeah, when I because I know. Oh, I've coached at Ames High, and I always went to watch. They have a very good soccer team always. Um, actually, one of my basketball players at Ames High, Megan Kearns, went on to play soccer. She was always on the U.S. development team. Uh, she played at Florida. I was actually second team all SEC. So when I first started coaching Toby's team, I called her up and said, Megan, I need, like, little kid drills. Help me out. And she played some professional soccer in Kansas City. Um, she's back living in Des Moines now. But uh, anyway, so I used to go and – also, having coach names, you go to Des Moines Valley, and, you know, their nice new stadium. And, yes, the soccer, you know, you can see the lines are outside of the yeah. football field. So, um, I knew it was big. Uh, the last, oh, couple Olympics ago, I was reading about the USA women's soccer team. By the way, repping Alex Morgan. Um, and they said the midfielder runs an average, an Olympic soccer game, seven miles. Yeah, I think uh, I think USA player, um, his dad was the coach. His name is Michael Bradley. I think there was a World Cup game. I think it was about two World Cups ago. I think he covered eight and a half miles <laughs> in 90 minutes. That, that's just crazy. that's just crazy. And I know one of the guests is coming on here. You know, since she didn't run junior high track, I'm sure she's uh, a real runner. What what position does Dakota play? I, I'm curious. Uh, she plays wing midfield, so yeah. You're oh right. my God, she runs a lot. Okay. What about Addie? And I'll talk to him about that. But what what does Addie play? Addie is our defensive uh, leader. Yes. Yeah. She plays. Uh, she plays center defense. She keeps everybody in order and get everybody where they need to be. She's kind of our general in the back. Yeah, uh, that, that's why she's my favorite. I'll tell you this about her. She, <laughs> if you watch film, she is always, and you could probably attest to this yeah. with. <laughs> always in the right spot and at the right time mm. doing her job like uh, she's not the biggest she's not the fastest but mm. she figures out a way to get get the job done every yeah. time like she's she's our leader on defense really I mean. and maybe a lot of our viewers are not soccer um what do you want Oriented. Experts, yeah, experts. Um, so I, mean, I watched know. Ted Lasso. So. There you go. Oh, I watched a lot of Ted Lasso in preparation for oh, this season. Oh, see, that, that's, that's where you got your coaching style. Life. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Ted Lasso is a huge Iowa women's basketball fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, and a lot of people, especially because since you go watch your kid play little kids soccer, you know, we really don't break it down into offense and defense. So. Most people think that you just everybody kicks the ball and runs down the field, and um, they don't realize that there are specific positions. And I mean, we could get technical terms, um, you know, what offense you run, what defense you run, as far as so, like for example, in volleyball, you either run like a six-two, four-two, or a five-one, which people don't maybe know that about volleyball. But so, what is your, I guess, game plan? What do you like defense on football? You know, you run a 4-3, mm -hmm. or, you know, you can run the Bears 46 defense or whatever. Yeah. So what, what's your, I guess, philosophy on on defense or we, offense? I don't know how you – Well, and soccer's, I mean, very similar. They got, um, help me out here, like a, a 
two, four, 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 two, four, four, two yeah. five, uh, three, three, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and it basically is, is talking about how many you got back on defense, how many you have forward. We, our philosophy is we're going to adjust. Okay. Every, I mean, game to game. And we want to always go in with the right game plan. That's where. So you watch film goes. on the other team? Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. And that, that's why having this guy's uh, soccer brain, you mm -hmm. know, really helps out because he's able to spot a lot of, a lot of things that maybe a lot of people don't see just mm -hmm. watching film like I wouldn't ordinarily see, mm -hmm. you know, because I didn't grow up watching soccer as mm -hmm. much. So there's, you know, little things similar to any sport, like, um, but that helps us get in the right spot yeah. and, uh, and change up and adjust. Because, yeah, some, some games we'll have more back on defense if we know we're dealing with a fast team. Mm -hmm. And we'll, you know, in some games we'll be on the attack more. So it just kind of goes game by game, really. I will say, and I have gotten into soccer because of the World Cup and the success of the USA women. Um, the one thing that kind of drives me crazy about soccer, and this is just one, because I, I love it, is the extra time at the end. Mm. I, being a very game situation type uh, a coach at the end, I don't like not knowing exactly yeah how much time is left in a game. It's like, oh, plus four. Well, is that uh, four minutes and 32 seconds? Is it, yeah. you know, do, does somebody have the time on that? Um, and does anybody know except for the one official? Usually, so there's <laughs> a fifth official, and they're the one that holds up the little substitution sign yep. and stuff. They keep track of it. Um, that's for, so in soccer, there's a lot of, <laughs> Injuries. Great. Well, gray area. Ow, I'm laying or, down for five minutes. Yeah, there's sp <laughs> there's a gray area kind of there. You know, you wanna you wanna take as if you're winning at the end of the game and it's a close game, you wanna take as much time as possible. Oh yeah. And <laughs> so, and I don't I don't much care for it personally. Mm. The falling to the ground and rolling around kind of jazz. <laughs> that stuff yeah. drives me nuts. Yeah. But the so the added time is to kind of make up for that. So they well, make, I, they I know sure what's for, but I, minutes. I just don't like not knowing exactly yeah. Yeah. how much is on that, that adds to the <laughs> Especially drama. Especially if you're behind. Yeah. Like if you're down one oh, yeah. goal, you're like, uh, yeah. like I need to know. <laughs> now, at the high school level, we don't, they don't do that. There's no extra time? time? Yeah, oh, okay. so we, we avoid that, thankfully, because yes. that, yeah, that, that was one of my biggest worries That was me very judgment. I mean, that's a big judgment call by the officials. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So oh, what okay. they do is if somebody gets hurt at the they, high school level, they'll stop the clock okay. after a little, you know, after a few seconds. And once they've realized what's going on, they'll, they'll stop it and then okay. restart. Okay. My other, I guess, question that I don't understand about soccer. So sorry, fans out there. I'm, I'm getting knowledgeable about soccer. <laughs> um, it, it's an Olympic year. Um, substitutions. How is are you limited on how many substitutions you can have? No, not in, at the high school. Yeah, level. in high school it's unlimited. You can go back and forth all you want. At the at the high levels like the Olympics and mm -hmm. things like that, you get three subs and one sub in case somebody gets injured. Okay, that's what I, I thought. I knew at the high level it was very limited, mm -hmm. and uh, which I, I think that's kind of tough too, but. Uh, okay, so that's what I was wondering. Cause it, it, and even in high school volleyball, you are limited on how many subs you have. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. well, and that's... I found that out the hard way this year. Uh, <laughs> for yeah. junior high. Yeah. Well, and that's what a lot of... A lot of parents like to yell and... Like, oh, I have my kid in. Well, I can't put your kid in. Because there we have no more subs. Yeah. And also, you have to only sub in for the same person. And, you know, it's very restrictive on substitutions, which... A lot of people don't know. So I didn't know about high school soccer if it was. I'm learning a lot about volleyball today. <laughs> if it was limited. So. Uh, yeah, we, thankfully it's unlimited because, yeah, no, I, we, we would probably run into uh, rotation is track of the <laughs> Rotating players is a huge part of our game plan. Okay, good. Yeah, we, we, only, we only have 17, so we're constantly mm. keeping people fresh and the experience. We, yeah. We want oh, to yeah. get these young kids the experience mm -hmm. because we got a really good foundation to build off of with mostly being freshmen and sophomores. Good. So, good. you know, that's 
<laughs> yeah, they're getting a lot of, lot of time rotating in. So yeah, Good. substituting is a big part of our game too. Good. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to so interrupt one last yes. time, Alex. Uh, you know, your last name is Holt, uh, which is a, a well-known name here in Sigourney. Uh, I want you to name drop. Uh, your dad, your your uncles, your relatives, uh, who have come through the Sigourney school system that the that longtime uh, listeners and viewers might be familiar with. Go ahead. All right. So, uh, my dad is uh, Stephen Holt. He was the oldest. Uh, graduated. And I'm going to butcher some of the dates. I'm sure. Yeah, that's but, all right. Oh, 77. I want to okay. say he's part of the 76 um, state runner-up team. Um, <clears throat> let's see. So you got Tim Holtz, my uncle, Brian Holt. Both of them were on state championship football teams, if I remember that correctly. Uh, Chris Holt was a uh, really good wrestler for uh, f for uh, Sigourney. And Jack then, Smith's era. Yeah, Jack <laughs> Smith's era, and um, I've had you know conversations with Jack about Chris. He always said he was a really good wrestler and didn't get the the publicity <laughs> that he probably should have compared to his brothers, but. Um, and Chris played football too. He was a lineman, I think. But running back was always the. That's kind of like the whole position. I I played running back too, in, in high school, um, just some, you know, somewhere else, further <laughs> away. But uh, I've always heard the best athlete in the family was was Kathy Holt, Kathy mm -hmm. Hermson now. Oh. Um, and I've I've heard that from multiple people, um, and I don't think. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Sigourney had the six-on-six -six basketball or, or women's basketball when she was in high school. It would have been in the late 70s. Because I know she did softball. But they didn't have volleyball. Yep, volleyball wasn't until like yeah. 84, 85. Then, I so. think they might have had basketball. Maybe it's yeah. volleyball I was thinking. but um, So, yeah, didn't have as many of the athletics to play. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah, like I, I've heard she was, she was probably the best <laughs> athlete. And then Matt Holt. Uh, is uh, uh, another one of my uncles. He's kind of closer in age. I, I remember uh, he's only like 10 years older than me. So, uh, um, and he was during my was my he? time frame. Okay. He was a couple of years younger than me. So, yeah. So, that's so yeah. Guys, Steve, Tim, Matt, Brian, <laughs> Did you Chris, get them all? Kathy. I think I got everybody. Well, and I know Alex has kept the tradition going on for... Having the Oconus and the Holt families having there big families. How many kids do you have now? I have five. Kids. Five, that's they're, what I thought. And they're you got all, a basketball team. Yeah, yeah. and they're all boys, too. Yeah. So <laughs> our house gets pretty wild. So. <laughs> all right. Well, we thank you guys for coming in today. We're going to continue to talk some soccer. Let's uh, transition between our guests here. As uh, we do that, we'll take a look at our Keokuk County Hospital and Clinics Athlete of the Week, as voted on by the Steve Shuttler Media viewers. Uh, and that comes from North Mahaska as, uh, once again, another North Mahaska Athlete of the Week. Uh, the voters in the new Sharon area go crazy on this particular poll. And Natalie M. Linder of North Mahaska Track is our Athlete of the Week. She is quite the athlete. She is a tall girl, uh, very good in basketball and, and track and volleyball. So congratulations to her, our Athlete of the Week, sponsored by Keokuk County Hospital and Clinics. And then new for the spring season is the Kelly Style State Farm Team of the Week. And this week was the Pekin High School Girls Track Team. So congratulations to Pekin for winning the uh, Team of the Week presented by Kelly Style State Farm. And again, Natalia Linder of North Mahaska, our Athlete of the Week. We'll have some new polls coming up on Monday. So uh, be on the lookout for those here on Steve Shetler Media. All right, let's take it back to Jenny with her next pair of guests here on the sports section. Uh, we have two VSK soccer members, and they are both Kyoto kids. Uh, so I've known them and coached them since they were third grade. Uh, they played basketball and at least volleyball for me since third grade. So, and I, so I know their names, but I'm going to make them introduce themselves. I'm Dakota Dodd, and I'm a sophomore at Kyoto. I am Addison Perkipal, and I am a sophomore at Kyoto. So they're part of the big sophomore class for SK Wrestling. So, uh, wrestling, geez, <laughs> SK Soccer. Um, tell us a little bit, why, why do you like soccer? Why do you play soccer? I mean, I've been playing since, what, you could start preschool, I think, <laughs> and I've been playing ever since then. I mean, sixth grade, our season got canceled because of COVID, but I don't know, I just 
did everything when I was little, I guess, so just stuck with it. And then last year I didn't go out, but this year I was like, why not? I miss it. So I went back out again and loved it. So Good. Back on the horse. Ad- Addy. Um, I don't know when I started soccer, really. I know I did a little bit when I was younger, but I played throughout junior high, and I also now play in high school. And I enjoy, I mean, I enjoy it partially because I think I'm – kind of good at it and and I don't know it's just fun to play with a lot of people and just kick the ball I don't know um I would say and this is just me knowing them really well that Addie likes like the strategy of it and I know like what coaches said you're really good defensively and you're in the right position she's kind of a think tank (laughs) um so I can see her really being it's a sport where you can analyze and really you know uh, read what's going on and you can use your brain power a little bit to Definitely. your advantage. Yeah. Do you think is that? Yeah, I'd say so. Just like to get you got to know when to like on defense especially you got to know when you should start kind of like dropping back and like when to shift over. So what is like that. what is your position technically called? Uh, defensive stopper okay <laughs> well i mean uh, you know there's like maybe <clears throat> and i forget all the names like a striker and uh, you know there's all these different names uh and i can't remember what the defensive names are because i've always been an <laughs> offensive type person uh i like to shoot and you know kick it you know. but um okay i can't what are the defensive spots called like i'm having a brain fart oh there's sweeper sweeper that's what i was thinking of so that's that yeah that's <laughs> okay Okay. And stoppers. You got the fancy okay. names, okay. I guess. All right. <laughs> I don't got that. Okay. Okay. So uh, you must be offensive player. Yeah. And because she's in basketball, she's more of an offensive player. Yeah. Um, sure. I will say, Dakota and I were texting each other last night about the <laughs> Iowa game. And, you know, early on, Iowa and uh, the Iowa women have always had that knock on them about playing defense. And I maybe sent a text to her. <laughs> That said, well, they're playing defense kind of like somebody else I know. <laughs> Definitely not hinted toward me at all. <laughs> um, but anyway, so <laughs> what is your position on the team? So I am like the left midfield wing. So I just kind of stay on the outside, like basically on the sideline, you'd say, and kind of just stay out, spread everyone out. Normally there's not a lot of people on the other team outside because they're kind of staying in wide, especially at Waplos like that. So we, I can basically just spread everyone out, and then when it gets to me, I can pass it through and get it to our forwards, or so then they can have a hopefully a good opportunity to score. So you you pass? Yeah, that that's basic. That's what I do <laughs> when I get the ball when everyone's spread out. Good, good job. Where we're supposed to be. That's why she's a shooter. <laughs> well, she should shoot more in basketball, but um, <laughs> not as much as you not as much in high school as junior high. Yeah, that's that is true. true. Um, let's see. So what do you? suggest for younger kids out there uh to get better at soccer i mean don't focus too much on like if you're doing it 100 percent correct just kind of like stay with it like do as do as good as you can like you're not going to get it perfect every time i know that's how i was like i was getting mad because i didn't do it all right all the time but like that'll come with just getting the reps in and just doing as best as you can it'll come naturally after that so Addie, what do you think um yeah definitely practicing um, there's definitely good drills out there. Like they have us do a lot of good footwork drills. Um, it, I'd say just work for younger kids. Definitely work on things more targeted to their age. But like there are like work on drills that are like specifically something that you're struggling with. Like I know sometimes I struggle with footwork. Definitely, but. So yeah. you're saying that you're going to be a guest at one of my uh, youth soccer practices? Yeah. Okay. I do you that. should get us on it. We got it. <laughs> um, all right. They're going to be all. Watch out, second, <laughs> third grade Eagles. Here they come. Be ready. Um. Okay. So are we ready to kind of wrap it up, Steve? Sure. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say if you're going to have them help you out, is that part of their NIL deals or? <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know. I, Make sure you, you, make sure you girls it? get your <laughs> agents involved. <laughs> Can we get some millions on it? <laughs> million. Free car or something? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> hey, I've given you free car rides. You have. You definitely have. Um, 
<laughs> and, the, and those old jelly beans in your desk those are not good. <laughs> they're like not, ten, they're like ten years old. They're do terrible. Do not dig in my desk at school. It's, it's got disgusting. a lot of free candy. <laughs> free candy for sure. <laughs> um, I will say that. Um, yes, because coaching their youth basketball team, we I took them all over in junior high basketball game. Took them all over. <laughs> But I will say, Dakota is known for her love of uh, Casey's chicken sandwiches. Especially watching Toby <laughs> eat some in like two minutes, less than that. So, kind of uh, funny. And Addie keeps the car rides, when we say intellectual. Uh, you know, that game where you're like, I'm going on a car ride and I'm going to take, and it starts with an A, and then I'm going to, and then you go B and you do the whole alphabet. Uh, we did this going to a tournament one time. Um, and Addie remembered that for like four years. Yes. So, <laughs> but anyway, she remembered. Memory games. What? I said I'm good at memory games yeah. and yeah. riddles. I'm just the listen to the type, listen to music type of person. I'm locked in once I get there. Oh, speaking of that, let's, one more question. How do you, uh, how do you dial in before the game? What's your pregame focus? I mean, when I was younger, listening to music, just kind of talking with my parents, just getting my mind right. And now. I mean, not really listening to music. I'm normally I'm at the front of the bus this year, so I'm with Rihanna, or as Tim says, the champ. So and She's then the champ. like Gavin Colley and Ty Goldman, I'm up there with them and our manager Sarah. So we normally have we're pretty relaxed, talk, laugh, so just kinda relaxed and not, not stressing about it too much. So Good. just having fun with it. Addie, what's your pregame ritual? Um well on the buses I definitely listen to music like the whole way. I don't really talk to anyone on the, don't on the way. Just put a pair of earbuds and listen. But once we get on the field, I definitely try and focus on like smaller things and like like passing. If I made a bad pass, I try and figure out like why I made that bad pass and like how I can make it better. And then just fixing things a little bit and then going from there. Okay, and no, I'm sorry. I keep saying this. One more question. Uh, how is it playing against guys? I mean, in Little Kid, we've been playing against boys basically our whole lives, and we were both part of the SK Venom team in junior high, so, I mean, that was base. We didn't play a lot of teams with a lot of girls on them. There was probably, like, three, I think, was the max on a team, and then after that, like, it's it's pretty normal for me. I mean, not too worried about it. And I grew up with older brothers, so <laughs> it's not. it's been physical, but just got to get used to it. So. Um. Yeah, we've been pretty used to it, but uh, they're definitely very physical. <laughs> they like to push you around a lot, and like not just us, but like everyone. But they push everyone around a lot, so you just gotta keep up with the pace Did of the game. You push back. Yes. Got a girl. Out of your flat and chase out to. next time. Watch out, <laughs> Chase. She's coming for you. Have you ever got a red card? No. A yellow Never? card? Uh, no. Tim has. <laughs> Not me. Never do that. <laughs> oh, you got to love the red and yellow cards. Okay, so we'll go into this or that. Yeah, yeah go right in. Let's jump into it. Okay, so uh, our segment, this or that. So uh, TikTok or Instagram? TikTok. Instagram. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, jeans or sweatpants? Sweats. Sweatpants. <laughs> I knew that. I'm always Hawkeyes or Cyclones? Hawkeyes. Hawkeyes. Woo! Hawks by a million. They just won last night. <laughs> Go Hawks. <laughs> okay. Pele or Messi? Messi. 100%. You, do you even know who Pele is? I, I've, I've watched some, but not, not as much as Messi. Okay. Messi. Okay. That's just like saying LeBron or Jordan. Yeah. All the younger Jordan. Kids, you know, all the young guys are like, LeBron. Jordan, Dude, what? Come on. Jordan. 100%. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Mia Hamm or Alex Morgan? Alex Morgan. I'll, I'll go Alex Morgan just because, I mean, I've watched her obviously longer, but Mia Hamm, pretty good. Pretty dang good. She, so is Alex Morgan. Mia Hamm's a trailblazer. Okay. Yeah, um, sure. I'm going to go. I do love Alex Morgan, but I'm going to have to go Mia Hamm all the way. Um. The, and this, I probably should be asking the coaches this, the 1999 or the 2015 World Cup Women's Champion Team? 
2015. Yeah, I'm gonna go 2015. Even though ni- the 99ers, they they definitely trailblazed the way for <laughs> everyone else. But 2015. Um, I'm gonna have to go 1999. Party like it's 1999. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah. oh, just I mean, just there are just so many uh, great players. Yeah. But I will say, uh, the 2015 World Cup championship was the day before I gave birth to Toby and I knew it because I had an appointment and and I still had not had a girl's name no girl's name going in and um, because I didn't know if it was a boy or girl and so pretty much going in if it was a girl it was gonna be Carly after Carly Lloyd because you know she had a hat trick she had three goals um, in the game and I was like and middle name is gonna have to be Kay because that's like a family name so it was gonna be Carly Kay but anyway, but you got boy. the big Toby. Big Toby. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a Toby. Um, pick, I picked right on that one. Um, <laughs> classic rock or hip hop? I'll go hip hop on that. Mm. I think I listen more to classic rock, so. Probably who is, classic Who do you rock. consider classic rock? I was say, Let's yeah. put things in perspective. <laughs> maybe, maybe, got, maybe I should have a definition no. of that. <laughs> when you think classic rock, who do you think? I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> Putting you on the spot. Like ACDC, that kind of stuff? Yeah, Emily listens to a lot of that. So <laughs> I've heard some of their songs. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. She knows a lot of names. I just know yeah, some I'm songs. Not, not the old ones, really. But <laughs> the newer ones, for sure. That's right out of my style. Okay. Cat or dog? Dog. Dog. And if you don't know, Addie's mom raises Australian <laughs> shepherds. So she, I suppose she should say dog. But um, Pepsi or Coke? Pepsi. I'll go Coke. It's pretty Ooh, good. Coca-Cola. Uh, let's see. Well, we'll do football or basketball. Basketball. Mm, I, I love football too. I mean, watching football is pretty fun, but I'll say basketball. I like watching football a lot, but I play basketball, so. Okay. Basketball. Okay. Now, close your ears, coaches. Basketball or soccer? Soccer. Ooh, that was quick. I'll go soccer too. Oh, yeah. hey, hey, all right. As much as I love basketball, those were top oh, two right soccer. there. But yeah, okay. soccer. I put this one down for Alex because I know he is a big tie wearer to school. So, uh, tie or bow tie? You know, the regular long tie or the bow tie? Tie. I'll say bow tie just because I have to wear one for the play. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, beach or mountains? Beach. That's hard. I feel like it'd be fun to hike in the mountains, but I've been to the beach, so okay. it's very nice, so I'd say beach. And these guys have just been to Florida with their both show rock, or show rock, show, show choir, choir. Uh, girls, or Eagle Rock, so they just been to the beach not that yeah, long ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, day, actually. Steak or hamburger? Steak. Hamburger. Okay, and the last one, Snickers or Reese's Peanut Butter Cup? Reese's peanut butter cup, all the way. Snickers. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> all right. Well, ladies, thank you for coming in. Hobbs, I don't know who you're going to have as our guest picker up next, but uh, I'll bring this graphic up on screen uh, while you decide who you want to have as the guest picker. But uh, we're looking at the Pick'em standings on the screen right now. And I tell you what, the guest pickers are uh, kicking our butts. Jenny. <laughs> I know. Uh, you got guest pickers at 19. Now, this, uh, we, we got things updated. We have uh, all of our uh, pickums for the last few weeks involved with this. Our guest pickers are at 19. Hobbs, you're at 16. Ooh. And I am pulling up the rear at 14. So uh, I need to guest improve. Uh, yeah. Guest pickers, yeah, the, the pressure is on for you, Alex, uh, to keep the uh, guest pickers on top right now. Uh, Jenny, I know you have a, a wide variety of sports and games yeah. picked out. What do we got? It's that time of year where, you know, there's not a lot of basketball left, or so we're going on to other sports. And I will have to ask Alex first, tie or bow tie? Tie. Okay, I, I was I I went there, but I didn't know if you ever did wear bow ties or I, always I do tie. not. I only know how to 
to tie a uh, Windsor knot. So okay. Just the, <laughs> and I have about 50 ties. Okay. I was so. going to say, I, every teaching picture I ever see you, you have a tie on. Yes. So that's, that's yeah. very good. <clears throat> okay. Let's start here. First one, uh, the final four, uh, the men's being played today. NC State versus Purdue. I'm going to go with Purdue. Zach Eady and Purdue. Okay. Uh, I want to say, but I'm kind of behind in the guest pick, so I want to say NC State. I think that's going to be a huge matchup between all the big guys inside, um, but I'm going to go Purdue. Yeah, definitely Purdue. Uh, then the other semifinal game, Alabama versus UConn. I'm going to go with Let's go with Alabama. I, they're kind of on uh, on a little bit of a run here, and everybody's all on UConn. It's kind of, I feel like it's kind of shaping up for a an upset there. Yeah, I and I, I hope. Again, I'm behind in the standings, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go UConn. I will say UConn as well. <laughs> uh, now let's go to the NBA. There's a big game today. Later on. Cavaliers versus the Lakers. LeBron's old team versus his current team. Ooh. I'm going to go with the uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, I know. I just – and I grew up in the 80s, so I love the Lakers. I love Magic and all those guys. Oh, by the way, Michael Cooper just got inducted to the Hall of Fame. Oh, nice. Um, and, of course, there's people going, oh, he only averaged eight points. Well, he also – held their other team superstar to eight points. So, um, but I'm going to go Cavaliers as well. I'm just going to say Cavaliers because I'm anti-LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm, I, I, <laughs> I'm historically a Lakers fan, just like you, Jenny. Yeah. I mean, I love Magic. Showtime. I would put Magic Johnson. I would argue Magic Johnson is, is the greatest player of all time. I, and Kareem. Um, I, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. But I'll just say Cavs. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go to some MLB. We got the Dodgers playing yeah. at Wrigley against the Cubs. Today's game against. Yep. <laughs> uh, and the Cubs, they're undefeated still, aren't they? Well, did they I lose they, the first? They've lost. But it, this is basically. I, so I went through and looked for teams that have really good records. So actually the Lakers and the Cavs are having pretty good seasons. Mm -hmm. And the Dodgers and the Cubs are off to a really good start. So that's why I kind of picked that. But. Uh. You know what? I'm going to go with the Cubs. I, oh. I think the Dodgers will probably win, but Cubs are kind of <laughs> like, I don't know. They don't have very many superstars, if any, that I can think of, and Dodgers got them all, but Cubs just keep finding ways to win early in the season. I don't know if it will mean anything later, but uh, um, I like it right now. Okay. I'm going to go with the Dodgers today just because it's supposed to be a little warmer in Chicago. If it was really cold, Cubs all the way, but those California boys um, – I'm going to go Dodgers today. I don't know anything about baseball. <laughs> Cubs. There you go. <laughs> um, let's do a little hockey. And, again, this is a matchup of two of the top teams in the NHL right now. Florida Panthers versus the Boston Bruins. Where's the game at? I, it's in Boston. Boston. I'll go Boston. At the, I think they still play at the Garden. We'll say they play at the Garden. Yeah. That um, sounds good. <laughs> I'm – not a big fan of expansion teams. I mean, I don't – sorry, all you expansion teams. Um, I think it's weird that, you know, Florida has a hockey team. So, I'm going to go Boston Bruins. I mean, do we still consider Florida an expansion team? How long have they been around? <laughs> well <laughs> – When do they quit being an expansion team? <laughs> I, always. They will forever. Oh. <laughs> like the Carolina Panthers in football. Exactly. They will always yeah. be an expansion team. Jacksonville. Exactly. Uh, I don't know. I'll go with Florida. <laughs> Florida. Um, softball today. Number a big matchup in the SEC. Number three Georgia versus number four Tennessee. At Tennessee. At Tennessee. Let's go with Tennessee. If if I have no clue, I just go with the home <laughs> team usually. So. Um. Yes, I'm gonna go. Uh, I really don't like the SEC. Not gonna lie. Um. <laughs> But I'm going to go Tennessee just because anytime Toby sees Tennessee playing, he wants a hat because he said, hey, that's T for Toby. I'll go. I'll go Tennessee Volunteers. And who's Tennessee playing again? Number three, Georgia. I'll go with Georgia. I'll go on the Bulldogs. And, of course, the last one, uh, we have to talk about it. 
And sorry I didn't talk about in the week that was because the Iowa women are playing in the championship again this year. Um, Iowa, South Carolina. Got to go. Got to go, Iowa. Got to go, Iowa. Um, I'm not going to say Hawks by a million because there's no way unless South yeah. Carolina misses, you know, the train. Uh, <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm behind in the picks, but I, I got to stay. I got to stay loyal to the Hawks. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. <laughs> Woo! In All right. heaven, there is no beer. <laughs> and that's why we come over here. <laughs> To the liquor section here, yeah. at Brothers Market. <laughs> hey, I'm 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 gonna force my uh, my my uh, wrestling. There we go. Pick there on. we go. We got another this one. Is, this is gonna be a bonus pick for this week. <laughs> it is WrestleMania weekend. Now we were talking before we went on the air. Uh, back in the day, you had the likes of uh, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage. You kind of graduated to Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock in the '90s. Uh, but this weekend's main event for Sunday night, because now I don't know if you guys know, WrestleMania is spread out over two nights, oh. uh, Saturday night and Sunday night. Uh, coming up tomorrow night, Sunday night, is uh, the relative of The Rock, Roman Reigns, who has been the champion for like the last two plus years. And he's taking on, if you guys remember, the American dream Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes, he talked like this. Uh, Dusty's son, Cody. Oh, it's Co- so it's, you got two legacy wrestlers, Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns, main event of night two of WrestleMania. Who you going? Roman Reigns is the champion. So who you think? All Roman right. Reigns is the bad guy. Cody Rhodes bad is guy. the good guy. Oh, oh see wow. now now you've you've tipped it for me. Um, most movies I cheer uh, secretly cheer for the bad guy for most <laughs> yeah. movies. So I'll go with Roman Reigns then. Oh. and. I have a son named Roman. So. There, oh, there we go. There we go. Um, since I know, now I don't know. I'm I'm gonna spoil it. Maybe it's fake, right? <laughs> what? Is it fake? I always thought what? it was. Fa- I, I heard it's I fake. Think it's all real. I've heard. Um, <laughs> it's real athletics. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's oh yeah. I'm, uh, they're it's, athletes. It's scripted athletics. Okay. Yeah, there, there we go. go. There we go. Scripted I kind of like that athletes. scripted athletics. And since Roman Reigns has been the champion for you said two plus yes. years. I'm thinking they're they're, they're thinking about yeah. they need to sell more tickets and yeah. breed a little more life into this. So I'm gonna go Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. The American. I will too. I will say the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes. Well, that sounds like the villain. <laughs> yeah. No, he he had to switch it up because his dad was the uh, American Dream. Okay. Oh. So okay. now he's the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes. I'm saying is gonna walk out the new champ. So. All right. Okay. I got, I got my wrestling pick. Oh, good deal. Good deal. <laughs> Does that wrap it up for this week? Yes, that wraps it All up. All right. Could I plug oh. something real quick oh, that we course. got coming up for uh, soccer? Um, so May 5th, and if you uh, have a, a student in uh, doing youth soccer, um, you'll probably get something coming home with, with uh, your, your son or daughter. But what we got going on is a fundraiser where we're going to have people basically have the opportunity to score points or score goals against Wells Clark, our goalie, um, participate in various skills competitions, and it's all for um, donations for the soccer program. Okay, and uh, also, our kids are going to go out and get pledges, and then each one of them is going to get to shoot 25 shots at, at Tim and I, Coach Tim and I. And for each goal they make, so say you pledge a dollar per goal for Dakota, mm-hmm. if she makes 12 goals against us, you would be donating $12. So. Okay, so how good a goalkeeper are you? Uh, I need to know how much I need to pledge. Not, not very good, <laughs> not very good. If it comes okay. to helping uh, the soccer program out. Oh, I, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, you know, talk about scripted athletics. Yeah, it, might, it might be a little bit of scripted <laughs> athletics. I, I think Tim's too big of a competitor to uh, to let anybody <laughs> just score go any anyway. goals. But yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we have that coming up May fifth. So Good. I just wanted to give a quick. Uh, oh no, thank you. That's that's why you're here. Good. All right, make sure uh, uh, you check out SK Soccer on Facebook, like their page, and follow along. So uh, SK Soccer, we thank you for coming in today, Jenny Hobbs. Appreciate you as always, and that will do it for today's sports section here at Brothers Market. Uh, We're looking right now uh, that, once again, just a reminder that they started this a few days ago, Brothers Market. Their new hours are open 
until 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday. So if you need to do some some late evening uh, shopping for some groceries, they are open until 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday here at Brothers Market. All right, that does it for the sports section. We'll be back here at Brothers Market in downtown Sigourney next Saturday at 8 a.m.